Aloha, everyone. I'm Rick Kirkham, and today we're going to learn how to install and edit HTML free flat file blog. I still have trouble saying that. There's no database required. Hold on, let me. My my face is in the way. <laughs> there we go. No database required. <laughs> anyway, this is a really great data. Um, Sorry, this is a really great blog system and very easy to edit. And uh, obviously, that's me. Don't get scared. This was done with Google Slides. Sorry, have to sit up here. Help is now available for Google Drive, the Microsoft Office 365 replacement, and Gmail by remote computer tutor and troubleshooter, J. Richard Kirkham, BSC. That's me. So some of these are a review from a previous video I just did. Why no database, Rick? I mean, WordPress has a database. It's number one. I, I don't like monopolies. This is one reason that I really like HTML -E blog, but the other reason I like it is because it's so editable. I don't have to undo, and I, I know I'm going to say this again in another later in another slide, but I don't have to undo what some other programmer did to do what I want to do. So it's simple to use, faster than a blog with a database, and easy to back up and restore. You just download it. You don't have to worry about exporting a database. Okay, my face is in the way again. <laughs> okay, benefits of HTML -E flat file database list blog. Uh, whoop, sorry. Free. It's free. Uh, comes with a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. There's different formats you can use. There's a uh, easy to use uh, video post. And RSS feed uh, stands for Real Simple Syndication. It's a way to uh, post to your social media. Requirements, uh, a website. Your website has to have PHP 5.3, which all normal web hosting companies have. Now, sites such as Wix, they don't support PHP. So go with my recommendations uh, over here on the right and just use them. I also get paid for those, by the way. Those are affiliate links. doesn't cost you anything more, and it does help to support my efforts. So thank you very much. And now, further installation and edit instructions. I'm going to install HTML -E flat file blog onto privatemartialartslessons.com. So I thought I'd share some details. I'll make the folder you wish to upload. In my case, it's FF blog. This blog is so good, you can actually use it for a main page. So you may not necessarily want to upload to a uh, folder. Now, one of my websites, Proactive Computer Support, I did make this my main page. It, technically, it's not actually my main page. I used about three lines of PHP code to uh, copy it over to my main page. I'll, I'll show you what I mean here if I click on this. So this is an edited HTML -E flat file blog. I use Twitter embeds here to keep up the latest posts and to motivate people to uh, follow me on Twitter. And then I have other posts using a thing called an RSS feed, which I mentioned earlier. Uh, that I just put in there myself along the side by editing it. Uh, if you're going to edit it, you do need to know a little bit about HTML code 
and maybe a little bit of PHP code, but uh, I can help you with that. And in any case, so remember after the initial domain, uh, whoop, here we go again, sorry about that. Remember after the initial domain subfolders are case sensitive. I usually use all small letters. Uh, the internet is not space friendly, so make everything together. Don't have any spaces. And personally, I don't like dashes. Okay, so download FileZilla FTP program. It's free. And install FileZilla. I'm trying to get my face out of the way again. <laughs> install FileZilla in or whichever FTP program you decide to use. Unzip HTML -E into your folder, in my case, ffblog. You still need a local folder, even if you upload it to your root web directory. Remember, you need one of these hosting sites to upload it because they support PHP. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you're uploading. I'm going to try and get my face out of the way permanently here. Sorry about that. So this would you'll just drag your FF blog file across to the right. This is a uh, FileZilla here, and that will upload to your website. Once again, this is something that I can help you with. After the upload is finished, type into the address bar of your web browser, such as Google Chrome, this right here. And then the last important part, forward slash install.php. Okay, there's an example of what it's what it'll look like in your web address bar. Okay, after that, uh, within within two minutes or less, you will get this. That's how fast this thing installs because it doesn't have a database to write to. Okay, for the comment system, I recommend Discuss. HTML -E offers it as an option. Once you set up Discuss, it's easy to set up on HTML -E with what Discuss calls a short name. There's no need with HTML -E to install Discuss. This can be done. And by the way, you can do this later on. Okay, comments will create stickiness. Visitors and potential buyers will return for discussions of products and articles. After clicking install, the install takes you to the page to set up your first post. So now that's so basic, I'm not going to bother describing that, but be sure to use keywords in your post and tags, which people use to search for the topics. See me if you need help. There's a few changes. Now Now we're getting into some more of the new stuff. There's a few changes in your config that you should make. So first off, you log in with your domain, forward slash FF blog or whatever you named it, then forward slash login. Okay, then press enter on your keyboard to log in, put in your username and password, and then you're going to click on config. Aside from obvious changes, change the theme to 2016. It keeps the side column information in the mobile view. It would appear in the bottom then. Under reading settings, if you have a main page that you don't want to change, uh, select static page. The front page display the front page displays change. Change the static page. Consider changing your blog post display as to summary. And you can actually, you can see what I'm talking about here in the example. And this is what it looks like in a full view. I wonder if I can get that out of the way there. Yep. Okay, good.
Okay, in the widget tab, that's where you set up your discussion system, Discuss or Facebook. And there's a full view of that. So right now it's disabled. And once again, you don't have to install that right away. You can wait. Okay, under meta tag settings, I changed the permalink to not make the date part of my post. It's, it's just my preference. I, I don't want people to look at my uh, URL and say, oh, that's too old. I don't want to read it because a lot of my stuff is good for a long time. And that's it. You're done. The rest of the adjustments are for those that use PHP and HTML code. And that's, once again, I know I said this before, but that's why I love uh, this HTML -E flat file blog. Anyone with some PHP and HTML experience can make some major changes in the format. You don't have to undo what WordPress or other database-driven blogs thinks is correct before adding your own additions to the blog. Now, just my own opinion for what it's worth, other opinions will differ. An example of what you can do with HTML -E blog. So let's take a look at one of my websites here. I kind of showed you this before earlier with another website. Uh, all of these features up on top here, the scrolling marquee, follow Twitter, the social media buttons, these are all something that I added with my own code. Now, after recent posts, I showed you the the, twit, the tweets that I had embedded. It's, it's really pretty easy, actually. Uh, this is also discussing my uh, drip income system. And that's another good thing to look into. But anyway, right along the side here and right here at the bottom are is everything that's ever been posted using something called an RSS feed. I just used a little bit of PHP code to put the uh, RSS feed right in there. I just edited. In fact, I think I even discussed it. I just edited something called... Ah, there it is, the functions include script. And to add a script to read the RSS feed, my drip affiliate income automatically generates other customizations involved layout.html.php in the theme section. I would rather edit the function system, the function uh, include script, because if I change the layout uh, dot HTML PHP and then if I go and change a the theme then I've got to redo my work again so yes I will I'm excited about this flat file blog enough to where I will install it for you if you don't want to take that professional step to get the hosting I recommended I'll even host it for you from five dollars per month up you can email me at computerhelp808 at gmail.com and give me the details of what you need. My rate is $95 per hour. A standard basic install would take about a half an hour. So your investment into your business would be $47.50 approximately. In the meantime, get signed up for my work at home affiliate marketing passive income utilizing the drip income software that I wrote myself. You can find that on makemoneyonlineforbeginners.com. And that is the end of how we edit and upload HTML -E flat file blog. Don't forget to subscribe like and click that bell so you don't miss anything that I that I share with you